When a man does this, he'll be loyal to you. And I'm sure this is something you'd very much like to learn about how a man becomes loyal or how a man shows up loyal. And I, I suspect part of the problem with our dating environment today is most people find themselves in casual relationships, situationships, friends with benefits, or hooking up. And there seems to be a distressing lack of serious relationships in the dating marketplace today for those of us who are in our 40s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s. So I want to address the behaviors um, and um, how a man will show up to demonstrate a level of loyalty. Now, what's prompted this video is I'm, I happen to know a young woman who's in a relationship, well, I mean, she's not that young, but she's a young woman in a relationship with a man, and it's basically casual. And it's been long distance, and it's been going on for several years, and she recently, and they had originally agreed to monogamy and exclusivity, and if either, either one of them said they wanted to date other people, they'd be honest about it. And so it turns out that she had found out that he had been dating other people. He was not loyal to the commitments he made in this dynamic. Now, part of the reason he gave is, look, we're in long distance. It's hard to keep this connection going. And I recognize that that is a very fair statement when two people are exploring a long distance. And by the way, here in Los Angeles, long distance could be simply 15 miles, by the way, because it takes an hour to get to one another. But this couple I'm talking about is a plane ride away. And so um, they've been working through their issues right now to see if there's something salvageable in this relationship. And she's actually considering moving. But I'm still not happy with what happened there. And then I look at another couple who met on the dating app Match.com. They were both in their 60s. They lived roughly about 15, 20 minutes away from one another. And over the course of two years that they dated with one another, he demonstrated what I'm about to share with you in a moment. And they eventually got married last year. In fact, I went to the wedding. And why I look at this couple as role models for a couple reasons. Look at people do find love on dating apps or they do find a life partner. It does happen or dating sites, I should say. It's very difficult to meet people organically anymore that you, you know, it's so, you know, for those of us coaches, you know, women come to us and say, where can I find a good man? Where can I find a good man? Where can I find a good man? Well, it's not like they're all hanging out at one place. And I know a lot of coaches say, do the things you love, go out and join meetup groups and join cooking clubs and do yoga and do the things you love and you'll meet your guy. Well, I'm in the same boat as everyone else, folks. I'm single looking for love and I do those things and I'm not connecting with people. And yet my greatest chance for connecting with people happens to be online. It's not the perfect circumstance or situation. It just happens to be that's where hopefully single people are hanging out. But the challenge then when you meet someone online is first, do you share some physical attraction with one another? Okay, I know that's one of the hardest things to experience. But the minute two people do, there's this belief that that um physical attraction leads to relationship success. And what we're talking about now with respects to loyalty is really dating is an investigatorial process. It's an intentional investigatorial process to determine compatibility, to determine compatibility. It's an investigate. It's an intentional investigational process to determine compatibility. See, most of us just think if we're entertained enough, we're going to be with the right person. But we've observed uh, in the world that love in and of itself does not really equal relationship success. And yet what I'm about to share, and I'm going to get to it right now, will demonstrate a sense of, of what it looks like to experience a man or woman who will be loyal in the relationship. So I don't know if you're familiar with the term in real estate. They always say um, when buying a home, always consider location, location, location. OK, well, in the dating market pace place, you have to be focused, or at least this is my invitation for everyone, is to focus on character, character and character. 
Character is about being an emotional grown-up. Let me repeat that. Character is about being an emotional grown-up. In other words, and one of the significant elements of emotional maturity in the for those who are single for looking for love is determining what is their motive for being in the dating marketplace. What is their motive? Do, we have, do they have a short-term motive or do they have a long-term motive? Do they have a short-term motive or do they have a long-term motive? You see, a lot of people right now are gun-shy, men and women alike. I know so many women are afraid to dive all in with someone that they barely know because it's it's rather scary if they are really if they have that character character and character let me just say this most human beings are good people okay most men are good people most women are good people they might be f flawed okay they might have weak emotional maturity they have, might have weak relationship skills but for the most part, most people are good people. But I think it's really important to recognize in yourself, what is your motive? Do you have a short-term motive? Do you have a long-term motive? And what does that long-term motive, what does that motive look like for you? And we can talk about that. That's what I help women in my private coaching. And if you need some support with that, there's a link below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Okay. So, how does a man show up loyal? First off, his actions consistently match their words. I know you've heard this before. I'm repeating myself over and over and over again. But if he says he's going to call, he calls. If he says he's going to pick you up for a date, he's going to pick you up for a date. He's consistent with his words. Now, look, we all have a capacity to, you know, um, not live up to our word. I have a friend that was on a first date with someone. And she, he totally um, um, stood her up. And she was waiting there for about 45 minutes and she was getting ready to leave the restaurant. And uh, it turned out the, the, the host or manager came up and said, do you happen to be so-and-so? And she goes, yes. Well, you won't believe this. Your date was in a car accident and it was pretty bad. And his sister called um, our restaurant because he wanted to make sure he knew what, you know, to know that, you know, he didn't stand you up. Turns out he'd broken his leg in the car accident. Now those are exceptional types of situations, but he went out of his way to make sure that his sister who is, you know, like he called to call the restaurant to take care of that, that demonstrates character because he sounds like a man who wants to be consistent with his words. Number two, there's a generosity and kindness in a person. You know, I think a lot of people unintentionally take advantage of each other. Um, there's this sad narrative where most humans are operating from a self-centric, myopic perspective. And I've just noticed a lack of generosity and kindness. This is true for men and women alike. But when a man is consistently generous, he's consistently kind, that's certainly a good sign that he'll be loyal to you. Now, one really important sign that he'll be loyal to you is that he communicates clearly without having to be right. I was just having this conversation the other day. Um, I was at the bar. Uh, I decided Friday night to go to a bar by myself. I'm not, I'm very uncomfortable doing that, but I thought, you know what? Let me get out amongst people. And I was sitting next to a gentleman, and we ended up talking about our respective um, 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 professions. And he was talking to me about he's in a relationship with a woman who consistently wants to be right, doesn't hear his point of view. And I've noticed this, men do this exact same thing. When they're communicating something, they don't listen to your point of view. They don't acknowledge your point of view. They don't validate your point of view. And most importantly, your point of view is true for you. When a person wants to come at it from, I'm right, you're wrong, it's not a good sign that they'll be loyal to you. Now, certainly there are alpha males out there that operate from that perspective. I'm right and you're wrong. And while they might appear to be loyal to you, it comes from a place of control. Just remember, 
It might be really attractive to be with a man who's in control, okay, that leads the process. You just sit in your feminine energy and just let him lead the process. But just remember, that invites controlling behavior. That invites behavior that I'm right, you're wrong. And maybe because I pay all the bills, you just have to subjugate yourself to me. Just remember, you have a valid point of view for yourself. Your feelings matter to you. Nobody can discount your feelings because they're true for you. But if someone tells you otherwise, they are might be control freaks or they might be gaslighting you. And I just want you to be mindful of that going forward. You know, a great sign a man is loyal to you is that they don't use people. They are clear about commitment. I think those men who are unclear, uncertain about commitment, unintentionally use women. If you're not familiar with my chart, um, it's called the three types of people actively dating. Please forgive the coffee stain. But there, I say 20, by the way, this is not a fact, it's merely an opinion. I say 20% of the population are, are users. They have a short-term gain. They're love bombers. They're players. They're gold diggers. They're only in it for themselves. And while 20% over here are grower and builders, they have their act together. They have good emotional maturity, good relationship skills. The average person, 60% of the population, are what I call spenders. Spenders. They seek companionship, connection, and sex. They're, they don't have a real direction. They have uncertainty in their life. They basically seek a placeholder in their life. See, a man who's going to be loyal to you shows up as a grower and a builder. And I'm going to share with you in a moment something you can say to a man very early on, something you can say to a man very early on to determine his capacity for really being serious about a relationship. And I said earlier, a man who's going to be loyal to you, he shows up with his act together, both emotionally and physically. He's got self-control. He doesn't chase sex. He doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have drug addictions or alcohol or partying. See, a lot of people are self-medicating because they're hurting on the inside. They're self-medicating through drugs, through alcohol, through actually online dating is a form of self-medication because of this access to so many different people. We are observing that many human beings are self-medicating through the serial dating process. And by the way, now it's just the dopamine hit of the swipe. And can I be candid with you all? I've been guilty of this. I've been guilty of sitting at home, feeling a bit alone at times, sometimes swiping, just to see if someone swiped back. Not necessarily intentional. I'm going to own that I've had moments of weakness. I share with you because this is true for good people out there, yourself included. Now, one way a man shows up that he's going to be loyal, that he has done inner work in his life to heal childhood wounds and adult traumas. Now, somebody who's had significant trauma in their childhood or maybe went through a contentious divorce, that's those are, first off, significant trauma might be verbal or physical abuse in childhood. In adult traumas might be going through a contentious divorce. It is emotionally traumatic to an individual and our body stores up that emotional trauma, which is why it's important to do some inner work, to do some healing. Because otherwise those traumas are gonna carry forward in future relationships. Now, a lot of people have garden variety childhoods, but guess what? A lot of us, especially in midlife, do you know roughly 75% of singles over 45 years old are divorced? And to, to, to unravel the tapestry of your life with another human being can be an emotionally traumatic experience. And while time might make you forget the wounds, doing work, doing therapy, doing personal development is certainly a way to heal and work on one's communication skills. In fact, that's the next one, being introspective, working on themselves, working beyond their limitations. You know, 
I look at self-awareness as the capacity to recognize our fears and our insecurities and our unhealthy behaviors and how that might affect another human being. And actually, first off, just being aware of it and then processing it with other, you know, with a, with a qualified coach or a therapist to work through those things. Now, one great sign that a man will be loyal to you is he has a protective, empathetic nature a protective, empathetic nature. He genuinely cares about your feelings. He genuinely cares about your feelings. In other words, your feelings matter to him. That is a great sign he's loyal to you. For those men who dismiss your feelings, for those men who, who tell you your feelings are wrong, you know, ladies, it's okay to ask Where's this relationship going? The minute two people have physical intimacy with one another, I think it's critically important to really determine what is the purpose of this relationship? What is the purpose of this interaction? Are we just having entertainment and a good time? Or is there a real purpose in getting to know one another from, I believe, from a long-term perspective? And one other great sign a man and I'm going to give you two more, but another great sign a man will be loyal to you is he believes demonstrating trust is paramount to the relationship. And trust isn't just about fidelity. Trust isn't handing over your smartphone to demonstrate that you're not sleeping or talking with other people. Real trust is, does this person have my best interest at heart? Do they really have my best interest? Because having... Your best interest is my best interest. In other words, it's it's in my best interest to have your best interest because if I want to have a loyal teammate-based type of relationship, I'm operating from the perspective of it's not about doing the best for you. It's always working from a capacity is my actions have consequences. The way I behave, the way I think, the way I view this relationship, and always being in a place of vulnerability, authenticity, and transparency. Transparency is, if it's material to the relationship, then speak up about it. And that's certainly demonstrating trust. Now, one of the things I work with clients, the reason why I'm such a big proponent of learning vetting skills, because remember I said earlier, intentional investigation. It's an intentional, it's a intentional investigatory process to get to know another human being. That is what's called vetting or discernment. And as a coach, that's what I help people do is to be more discerning because in a sea of emotional dysfunctionality, it's kind of hard to figure out who's legit or not. And one great way to determine emotional maturity with another human being is to use my dating vows. Here's a list of them right there. Now, there's a link below in the show notes to get my dating vows. What this is, is before two people are physically intimate with one another, or shortly thereafter, is they recite the following. It's a vow you make to each other. I agree to explore the process to getting to know you with the intent to declare something serious in the next three to six months. I agree to be monogamous sexually while we're having regular sex together. I agree not to actively seek, meet, and date others while we're in the dating process, including taking down our dating profiles. I agree to speak up if this isn't working for me versus pulling back, ghosting, and disappearing. And I agree to invest regular time in the process to getting to know you, which looks like whatever that looks like for you. Now, 90% of guys will bail on this because physical intimacy is so easy to get out in the dating marketplace. Hookups are so, so random now, that's easy. But if you want to set yourself apart so he'll be loyal to you, then establish your standard early on. And if he genuinely likes you and he's an emotional grown-up, he will have no problem reciting this with you. Is this a guarantee? Absolutely not but I think you put your odds in your favor when you set a higher standard for yourself. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating with you? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos.
And if you want to connect with me directly in the show notes, schedule a discovery call with me, join my group called Midlife Love Mastery, get my dating vows, follow me on Instagram, get the books I recommend listed below. And I'm going to sign off this video as I always do. First, I'll give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow. Give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.